Good day everyone. Alright, so I'm in the recent Minecraft snapshot 24w36a and in the recent snapshot you can do a lot more with minecarts. Like check this out. Alright, so this is very easy to make. I've got this thing that speeds up the minecart and when I click this button it changes the rail and launches the minecart. Yeah, like that. But this isn't the cool part. The cool part is, is that you can put this command in and you can change the max speed of the minecart. So, the, the normal speed is 8, but I can double it to 16. And yeah, let's watch this minecart get launched. Alright, so let's accelerate it. As you can see, it's going a lot faster than the normal minecart. And then click this button. And it should go further. There we go. But it has a max of 1000. And yeah, let's see how far it goes with a thousand. Yeah, I gotta let it catch some speed for a second. Wonder what happens when I get in. Oh gosh, oh my god. All right, could very well be going a thousand blocks a second right now. I'm gonna put a sniffer in. <laughs> That's crazy. And I'm gonna launch the sniffer. Let's see how far it goes. It's gone. Oh, there he is. Oh, so as soon as he goes past the loaded ch Oh dear. It seems it stops as soon as it goes past the loaded chunks. Uh, that's a bit annoying. Alright, but you get the point though, right? These minecarts can pick up some pretty hasty speed. <laughs> Look at this chicken! So, the reason I'm making this video is because I want to make a roller coaster. But before I do make the roller coaster, I do want to make something else first. Alright, so maybe you can guess what this machine is going to do. The minecart max speed is set to 16. Um, so this is going to make a wave of minecarts. I haven't tested it yet, so I'm super worried it's not going to work, but uh, this is the first time I've used copper bulbs in a redstone machine, so yeah, let's hope this works. Let's do this. Yes! Oh my gosh! This is so cool. That's so cool. I would continue this further along but I don't know how to use the inbuilt world editor and uh, this is a snapshot so I don't have world edit. But this is really cool. All right, so I think it would be cool to change the speed throughout the roller coaster with command block. So I think it would be cool to have some parts that it's going slowly up to a very high point um, and then it picks up a lot of speed going down and maybe when it gets to here, it can go the normal speed. I'm gonna include some like jumps maybe through some hoops or something it should be really cool all right so i think it'll be cool to have the starting station where you get into the minecart you click a button and it also activates a command block which sets the speed to two so it can go up the scaffolding really slowly all right so we've got a pretty gnarly roller coaster here if i click this hmm i feel like this is going up a lot faster than normal roller coasters go up Set it to one. All right, let's do this. Yes, this is going at a good speed. And when I get to the top, I just, uh, I just sit here. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna continue the course a bit. All right, so I've made it so when you get to the top of this elevated point, you start going max speed of three blocks a second. And when you get to here, you go 30 blocks a second. Now I'm gonna make it so the player goes down and then flies up and then it's gonna go over a jump and catch some air and land into another spot. I'm gonna work on that now. All right, I've got it in and I've got the little jump in, but I don't know where the minecart's gonna end up, so I'm gonna test this now. And there we go, now it's set to three. And it did not set to 30, okay. All right, let's see how this goes. And it's set to 30. And we're picking up a bunch of speed. Yes. Um. But I don't think we picked up enough speed. I want more speed. Alright, so now we've got a bunch of powered rails. So it should be a lot faster. So when I get in here, get in the minecart and let's catch some speed. Yes, that was so cool. Alright, and I landed around here. Alright, so I think it would be cool to have a part of the course that you have to shoot target blocks to gain speed. I missed. So it starts off at 5 speed and then you go to six speed and then the next block is like seven speed so i'm going to continue that all throughout this part of the course all right i finished adding in all the target blocks next to the command blocks 
and it goes on for a fair bit and there's a lot to shoot and at the end there's a launch and if you hit this 30 blocks a second command uh then you get launched all the way to here and once you get to here you keep going along and it activates this which turns on the machine and then you have the cool wave effect as you're going underneath uh if you hit the 14 blocks or any of these other ones and miss the 30 you still land on the track that's why it's continued here um but yeah all right i'm gonna start it let's do this and i need to get my crossbow ready all right here we go i'm gonna hit that one and then I'm gonna try and hit that one. Oh gosh, I activated the command. I opened the command menu. Uh, damn, that was a bad miss. Okay, hit that one. Can I hit this one? No. Can I hit the 30? Come on, 30. Oh, I hit the 30. Yes. And I end up all the way at the end. And I zoom along here. And then I go quite slow. And it should. Oh no, I missed a block. <laughs> Alright, so I've had to redo this so many times, but it should be working now. So that activates that, and it turns it on, and keeps it on, and yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> <sighs> okay, let's do it. I hope this works now. I'm gonna go. Please set to 16. And I didn't put the mic cuts. I'm so useless. Alright, I've got a feeling this is gonna be it. Let's do it. And if they turn on, yes! Turn on a bit too late though. All right, after after many trial and error, it should be working, yes! Oh my gosh, finally. And it works great, and it keeps working. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. So I think a problem was that it, the momentum wasn't stopping. So I had to break a rail in between and just slowed it down just enough for it to be perfect. Now I want to make a jump that goes through a loop of fire. All right, now I've got a jump there that goes really far out because that command block right there, uh, when you go over it, it sets your speed to 100. So I'm gonna go along here and I'm going 100. Let's see how far I go. All right, so I go to here. Now I need to find where I can put the loop of fire. All right, I'm building the loop of fire out of barrier blocks because then I can set it on fire. It actually looks like it's on fire. It's so cool. All right, loop of fire is there. Ignore this. It sh I should be able to go right through the loop if I put the minecart here. Hit the 100 speed and go. Oh, I hit the barrier block. It needs to be up a little bit. All right, loop of fire, back up one block. And now I think it would be good for the rest of the roller coaster to just set the speed to a thousand and just zoom all the way back to the start. All right, so I forgot to record the part where I was riding the minecart and I went through the fire hoop, um, but I am going to confirm it does work and you'll see it towards the end of the video when I ride the full roller coaster again. All right, I believe this whole roller coaster is done now. It's all connected and over here, when the player goes through the loop of fire and they go over this detector rail, they get set to a thousand speed and they zoom all the way back to the start where they get set back to one speed and uh, yeah, then you're back at the start of the course. Also, you probably noticed I over engineered th this button. Uh, all it needs is some redstone in the button. I, for some reason I put like comparators and a copper bulb here and um, yeah, I'm not great at redstone, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to get in the minecart. I'm so nervous. Also, I noticed you can't destroy items anymore. Um, I think that's a bug in this snapshot, but I'm going to do slash clear. Oh, you can't slash clear either. Uh, wow, the clear command is broken. All right, <laughs> I'm ready to do this. Let's go. So you go up really slowly, just like real life roller coasters. I actually haven't tested this part of the course yet. I'm going to do that in this test right now. Um, but yeah, we hit this and we get set to three. And down we go over this jump. And oh, I didn't charge my crossbow. There we go. 
There we go, set to nine. Oh, I'm doing good. Fourteen. Oh, I missed it. All right, so we're only going fourteen, so we don't go all the way. All right, next part of the course is the minecart wave, which is awesome. This is my favorite part of the course. <laughs> it's so cool. And next, we go a hundred, and we don't go through apparently. Oh my gosh. I don't get how that was different to before. All right, going through the wave again. It should be good now. I should go through the hoop. Um, picking up speed, going 100 blocks a second, and through the hoop we go. And down here, I'll start going a thousand. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that was crazy. Um, and that is the roller coaster. I am gonna have a world download for this on Planet Minecraft. I'll link it in the description. But before I end the video, I do wanna check my statistics screen and find how many times I've broken the minecart. Wow, I've used it 573 times. That's actually crazy. Yeah, so I hope you did enjoy the video. I had a great time making it. It was super fun and chill to make. Um, and if I think of any other ideas, like this i'll make a video on it but yeah if you did enjoy make sure to subscribe it helps me out a lot and um yeah i'm, I'm trying to grow on youtube and any any bit of support helps so yeah uh enjoy the roller coaster ride bye bye everyone take care bye bye